Breaking news into first take this morning. As reported by Adrian Wojnarowski, the Hornets are trading Terry Rozier to the Heat for a 2027 first round pick and Kyle Lowry. SA, you like this? I love it. First of all, my condolences to Kyle Lowry, who's a winner and a champion and a great guy, a veteran. I'm sad to see him go from a winning situation to what exists in Charlotte. I am ecstatic for Terry Rozier. I've been a fan of this brother for years. He can ball. He's 29 years of age. He averages 23 and 6 this season. Terry Rozier can play. And he has the personality that fits right in with the toughness of the Jimmy Butlers, the Bam out of bios of the world. I love this move for the Miami Heat. It's what you needed. And to have him on the court with Butler, Tyler Hero and those boys. Oh, look out. Miami obviously could be a threat, but I'm really happy for Rogier. I've been a fan of his for years. He deserved better than the situation that he was in, and I think he's going to make the most of it. Stephen A., Terry Rogier is a younger, more athletic Kyle Lowry. That's what they got. They got a guy that's tenacious, a guy that can make shots. You said he's averaging 23 and 6. He's going to blend. He's that bulldog. He has that bulldog mentality. He's a perfect fit. You know, you talk about heat culture. They couldn't have drew up a yep. better guy to get to bring in. And I he agree is. with you. I feel bad for Kyle Lowry. Yep. But this is what happens in the NBA. Jimmy Butler is going to fall in love with Terry Rozier as his teammate. Mark my words. Scary Terry. I mean, they, 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 I mean, they got almost identical personalities. How much of a difference is this for them? I think it's a big difference because they clearly can score. Like in they, terms yes. of where you would have them finishing I, in the I can East. tell you right now, if you're the New York Knicks, you should be worried. If you are uh, uh, the Indiana Pacers, you should be worried. If you're the Milwaukee Bucks, who the Heat have had their way with, you should be worried. No question. I think that, I, I, to me, you will look at Philly, Boston, yep. Milwaukee, Miami. And the Knicks are in there as well, but it, it would be a rat race. It's something about the Heat come playoff time. Everybody yep. should be worried because they know how Both. to rise to the yep. occasion. They know how to embrace moments where we saw what happened with Joel Embiid last year. We saw what happened with the Bucks last year. They rose to the occasion. The other team shrank in the moment. Yeah, by Hold the on, way, we got to hear Perk on this. The Heat, uh, the Heat play the next Saturday. Yeah, yeah, we got to hear Perk on this. Hey, that, big uh, Perk. Yes, I want to hear what your, he has. Your thoughts on the trade. No, we don't. I can't hear him because right now. Oh, there, there we go. There he is. There you are. We couldn't hear good. you, Perk. We couldn't hear you initially. We can hear you yeah, now. Okay. Good. Go ahead. I, 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 I actually love this trade for the Miami Heat. You know, while we talk about that Heat culture, Terry Rozier haven't played with a team like the Miami Heat since he left the Celtics. That's right. Now, all of a sudden, you get a coach like Eric Sposher that's going to hold you accountable. You, you can't shortcut that system the way that you have to punch in the clock behind the scenes. The only thing that I'm worried about when it comes down to Scary Terry is that he's going to have to pick his efficiency up playing with the Miami Heat. Like, he's going to have to be very, very efficient. But I love okay. the move for Hold the on. Miami Heat, Hold on. especially but if he's he, coming off the bench. He is shooting 45% from the field. 35% from yeah. the point range, yeah, 45% but, from the field. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that's a Molly. Uh, uh, Shay Shay, it's... it's it's a difference, though, when you actually plan for something. Like, I was right. very critical of Porzingis in the season he had last season with the Washington Wizards, but now he's made me a believer because now the pressure is on. It's a different type of pressure. Those shots mean a little bit more now that you're playing with the Miami Heat. And Sir, a little bit more we, pressure behind that. Before we move on, I just asked Stephen A. this. So where would you have the Heat finishing now in the East? Oh, they top four for sure. Okay. They top four for sure. And I'm going to tell you this, too. Bam Adebayo that elevated his game to another level no along doubt. with Tyler Hero. You could never count You could never count those goons from Dade County out. You can't okay. never okay. count them out. You look like you okay. belong thing, there with one, the Cuban one, one link thing, on. One thing I want to say this. One, no, <laughs> one thing I want to say is this, okay? Yeah. Oh. Better, good players get better playing with better players and a better culture, yeah, and course. a better team. Iron That's number Zion. one. And number two, to Pat Riley, to Eric Spolstra, to Andy Elson, and the crew, thank you. Looks like I'll have a reason to be in my but, but, but Stephen A., thank you. Molly, Molly, thank you, you asked the question, yeah, where does this me. put the heat? It <laughs> doesn't matter. 
because we saw them as the eighth seed advance to the NBA final. Mm -hmm. So where it puts them, mm -hmm. it does not matter. I